As many of you may have heard, the newest BIOS 319 update has seemingly caused some performance issues on the ROG Ally. I was actually in the middle of recording some gameplay when I found out about this and decided to scrap the recording since I would have to record the gameplay again once a new update comes out. I'm sure many of you watched The Fox. He's known for doing a lot of performance deep dives for handheld gaming PCs, and he confirmed that there was indeed a performance regression with the newest update. His recommendation was to avoid updating to 319 and wait for the next BIOS update. Unfortunately, I had already updated to 319, so I started digging for information on how to roll back the BIOS to 317, which offers better performance than the current BIOS. ASUS is currently working on an update, but you don't have to wait until the next update to have the best experience on the ROG Ally. In this video, we will show you how to roll back the BIOS to 317, the update that every YouTuber was praising just a couple of weeks ago so that you can enjoy optimal performance until the next BIOS update. Before we dive in guys, if you guys enjoy this type of content or find it helpful, please be sure to smash the like button and also subscribe so that you don't miss out on future content like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, and the Aya Neo. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So the method I'm going to show you is one of a couple of ways to do this. I chose to show this method because it is fairly easy and can be done through Windows and doesn't require a dock. The first thing we will do is download and install ASUS WinFlash. This is an older ASUS application but can still be found on the internet. Next, we'll download the 317 BIOS from ASUS. Once downloaded, we'll right click on the zip file and select extract all to extract the 317 BIOS file. Now, what we're going to do is use WinFlash to flash the 317 BIOS. However, if you try to do this right now, you will see that it will not allow you to do so. It will state that you have a more up-to-date BIOS already and block the update. To get around this, we'll need to open up a command prompt as administrator. We do this by going to start, type in CMD in the search, right click on CMD and then choose run as administrator. Once in the command prompt, we will type CD and the path where we installed WinFlash and then press enter. For me, it was located here. Next, we will type WinFlash space forward slash no date and press enter. We can now close the command prompt and return to the WinFlash app. Select get BIOS from device and then point it to the 317 BIOS file. We will now be given the option to roll back to 317. Click on update, and once it's done loading the BIOS, click exit. Your ally will then restart and begin the rollback process. This can take several minutes. Sit back, relax, and before you know it, you'll be back on BIOS 317. Once the rollback is complete, it will reboot back into Windows. Once back in Windows, we will open the My Asus app and disable the automatic update feature so that it does not silently update to 319. This means that you will have to manually update to the next BIOS. And that's basically it. Enjoy your games. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, let us know by hitting the like button and also subscribe for more. Well, we're out of here, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.